what up everyone hello there welcome to blade show 2022 we are uh, gonna walk around and just kind of get the vibe of what's going on uh blade show has been very fun so far and we want to hear from some other people so we're gonna talk to some people see if we can find anyone who's doing anything interesting and uh show it off let's do it so, what is over here we got alpha beasts and we got a bunch of cool stuff that's pretty interesting let's go over here yo what up dude Yo, what's up? you flipping you flipping the squiddy yep flipping the demo squiddy that's uh just sitting there what do you think of it uh it's a little light for my taste but in overall i still like it yeah that's fair are you enjoying blade show blade show so far uh yeah very much nice community nice community love it awesome have you uh bought anything cool that uh, you want to show off yeah actually so i got the dlc uh dual tone nami uh, today that's awesome so yeah that's pretty cool um, along with that I also got a Nautilus V2 Ooh. Well, I think we all know how I feel about the Nautilus but let's see it check out the review if you haven't um, thank you well, um, the Nautilus V2 Holy shit, it's a lot better than the V1. Is it? <laughs> yeah. They fixed the tolerance issues with it, and they also fixed some uh, balance issues and stuff. If um, anybody who knows how the Nautilus V1 feels, it's a slightly bit lighter than the V1. Yeah, I noticed it was a, it had a bit less of a handle bias almost, and I assume that's because the jimping and the lighter aluminum that they're using. But uh, yeah, that looks super sick. Are you enjoying it so far? Uh, yeah, very much. Hell yeah, what's up dude? What's up? How you doing? I'm doing good, Harry. You want to invade the video here? How are you enjoying Blade Show? I am, it is It is great here. It's fun to like actually meet people like that I've talked to over Instagram or see people that I, like I've never met or talked to before in my life and we can just sit here and talk for 20, 30 minutes just because we have a common like hobby. Yeah, it's awesome. I've noticed that as well. It's very, very cool to be here. Have you uh, bought anything cool? Uh, not anything cool really. I bought a Kraken and aluminum bare bones. And, uh, oh, nice. I had a Nami that I was able to bring here and they were able to tune it for me because the one that I got, it was, I, I don't know, it had an undersized bushing. It wasn't really that good, but now that they tuned it, it's it's stellar. Awesome. And you, did you have a uh, an Instagram handle? Uh, yes, uh, FOAA underscore King Noah 07. Go check it out. And uh, do you have an Instagram as well? I do. It is TB Balasong. Awesome. Go check them out. Thank you guys for being in the video. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. And that Nami, very cool. <laughs> Hello, sir. How's Hi it going? There. How are you doing? Doing good, doing Sweet. good. Are you enjoying your time at Blade Show today? Obviously, I've picked up some new knives. It's been great. What did you grab today? What is the, the what is the haul? Sarah. Yes. Can we see it? Why, yes. Can we see the Seraph? Man's picked up a Seraph, lucky enough. Getting it out. Oh, the serifs have some of the yeah. The serifs have some of the most beautiful anos we've seen all day. Ooh. So, do you have any? I know that now that you have a serif, you might have some formed opinions on it. any opinions on the serif or anything that either shocked you or you were disappointed by. I love this thing. It's wonderful. I was somewhat disappointed by the um the Benson Blades Planarian. I, I always thought that was like a really big grail of mine. Turns out it's not as great as I thought. It's quite heavy. But the Serif is the best thing I've tried all show. Nothing has come close. And yeah, I, that's why I picked it up got it this morning. How early did you get in line to get uh, one of those? I got in line a lot later than anyone else who got a Serif. So I got, I got here at um, 8.54 and the doors opened at 9.00. So, but one of the guys I knew, he, I met him yesterday, he let me in line with him, and he'd been there since like 8.15 or so, so I managed to pick up my Seraph. So yeah, you actually got pretty lucky on that. Very lucky. Machine-wise, especially with the Seraph, uh, it's just solidified that machine-wise it's just miles above everyone else. Yeah, I think he's the best maker, at least at, for knives at least, to produce any knife since. He's unbeatable. Yeah. Especially with something like the Prisma, it's, yeah, it's insane. So you got to try the Prisma then, I assume? I, I know, I think you tried mine earlier a bunch. Yours, it was great. Thoughts on that? Oh, it's, compared to like my Kraken trainer, which is roughly like 200 to 250, 
it's miles above even that. And for $150, I don't think yeah. you can beat anything like that. Yeah. For 150 bucks, the Prisma is just, it's its ridiculous. It's, it's straight up it just, make any sense. yeah, it's ridiculous. Well, do you have an Instagram handle you would like people to I follow? I have an Instagram handle. It's, I'm under Neapolitan Flips uh, or Flippy Flipperson, which uh, I've just changed it recently. Yeah. Nice. All right. Give them a follow. Uh, it's been a good day. Guys, We're hanging out. Watch the streams. Thank you. All right. Peace out. Yeah. For now, at yeah. least. Yo, we got the triple NAMI setup in here, huh? Of course. How you doing? Good, you? Pretty good. You want to be in the video? All right. Is the, are any of these yours? No. Oh, unfortunate. What are you flipping? Uh, his Squiddy V. Oh, nice, dude. I bought a, bought a Medusa earlier. Oh, Ty also knows a little bit about the Medusa. Medusa is a good recommendation for me. Yeah, I like the Medusa a lot. Who are the uh, the three owners of the Namis? So, is it you three? So the darker blue handles are his, the lighter blue is his, and the black uh, DLC is mine. We just saw that a little earlier. How do you guys like How do you guys like the tsunamis? Best knife. Best Went on top. Really. Hell yeah! I tried it. I've tried it this uh, blade show. It is really awesome, and they went quick. Have I tried the what? Trainer. The trainer? Yes, I have. The trainer's awesome. Some some people say that the uh, Nami trainer feels a little bit like uh, the Nautilus. In terms I can of, see that. In terms of balance and weight, they say it feels like the uh, Nautilus. I don't really see it as much. I mean, I can definitely, I can definitely see it, but it's just not as much as they say. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd agree. The Nami though feels amazing. It's just a little bit blade biased, but you can put a weight in and change that really easily. It's really good, honestly. Yeah, uh, yeah you guys were super lucky to get a, get in on the Namis before they got out got out of stop. I heard um, from somebody who was here on Friday that they sold 25 Namis in less than five minutes. Yeah, they were gone by the time 10 minutes into early bird. First day I tried to get a Nami, we didn't have, uh, I, we thought we got uh, early bird tickets, we did not. So we couldn't get in, and then a little while after, Eldon walked up to us, and he was uh, he started talking, and I was like, yeah, I wanted to get a Tsunami, and he was like, oh, those sold out like half an hour ago. Yeah. At least they rationed them. Two minutes. It was yeah. crazy. I sprinted all the way. At least they rationed them out to the second day so more people could get one. I was right behind Will, and he took my purple Nami. Oh, no. Will. You have blood on your hands. All right, thank you guys. Do you guys, uh, I've, you three, do you have an Instagram handle you want to shout yeah. out? Uh, at Altoblade. Awesome, and you? At Mip Flips. Awesome, thank you guys so much. Enjoy Blade Show. Yo, would you like to be in a video? For sure. All right, so generally, how's Blade Show so far? It's been great. I mean, I'm loving meeting everyone here. I'll, I actually have money this year. I came Let's in go. last year with debt, left with more debt. This year, hopefully, I uh, I don't go back into that. But I mean, I've got the Medusa, which Bennett's currently handling. Uh, I love this thing. I just used it as a butter knife at the Cheesecake Factory because they didn't give us one. Let's go. But there's that, and then um, Revenge of the Blades and NDK Arts. Yeah, they have the so Dillingham prototype. Oh, if I can... It's a little big, so the belly boot's very tight. But yeah, this is uh, the Dillingham prototype. Oh, that's not good. Anyway, that's my fault. It is the Loctite, but. Yeah, this is for people with bigger hands. It's pretty heavy, but it floats really well. Everyone's been saying great things about it. But yeah, Blade Show's been great so far. I'm, uh, I'm having a great time. Is there anything you were either shocked or disappointed by or met your expectations, anything like that? Valley Comp was better than I thought it'd be. I, I was expecting it to just kind of be boring, sitting out just watching people flip, but it's really high energy. I love the crowd. It was, oh, it was yeah. great. Everyone was super competitive. I mean, that final round was insane. Yeah. I loved how, uh, who was it? You brought out the mega song and yeah, was flipping that. Song. That was that was amazing. It was just, it's been a great time. But I mean, nothing's really been disappointing except for the fact that I just don't have a lot of money to spend yeah. on stuff. I mean, I feel like there was so many good things that really surprised me, mm -hmm. especially things like the hydro and the swordfish over there from yeah. Squid. I actually haven't uh, gotten to try out any of the prototypes yet. That's really? probably what I'm going to go do. I was just so busy talking to everyone because. 
I mean, there's people here that I disagree with about a lot of big things, but you know, we can all be civil. Blade Show's yeah. supposed to be neutral ground, so it's just nice getting to getting to meet everyone. Yeah, for sure. It's really nice to try some of the wacky stuff. Like I forgot what that thing is called. Dullahan. The Dullahan. Yeah. Maybe it's Dullahan. I don't know. It One of them. Matter. But yeah, that thing is crazy, and it's not something I would have ever tried unless I was at Blade Show. And now, so it, it's a pleasant surprise. I mean. You know, there's been a lot of great stuff, and El Pyro Flippers going around with uh, the Ember. I got to try an Embargo. It's just, those are knives I never would have gotten to touch unless it was for Blade Show, so. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of cool stuff here. Uh, so, do you have an Instagram handle or YouTube you'd like people to follow? Yeah, I'm, uh, my Instagram is the Cicklicker 4 So, you know, if you want to check that out, feel free to. I don't post a whole lot, but hopefully that'll change soon. All right, everybody give them a follow, yeah. and uh, nice. glad you're enjoying Blade Show. Yeah, Sweet. see you around. Yeah, see you around. What's up, dude? How you doing? Uh, very good. What are you flipping? Uh, a bare bones. Nice. How do you like it so far? Oh, I love it. Is this your uh, your first blade show? Uh huh. It's my first blade show. Nice, dude. You pick up anything cool? This right here. Oh, you got that. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. What was your uh, your favorite booth to visit so far? Uh, I like the Squid Industries booth. It's probably the biggest one here because they have that. that yeah. It's definitely one of the staples. One of the biggest booths here. A lot of stock, awesome stuff. You see, you're, how long have you been flipping? You're uh, going ham year. on that. Yeah, I'm, I've been a year. a year. Nice. You enjoying Blade Show? It's, you said it was your first yep. one? My first Blade Show, yep. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you. Do you have any sort of social media that you want to shout out? Uh, or? Uh, my YouTube is Aiden Balasong, and my uh, Instagram is Aiden Balasong. So awesome. Thanks, man. Have a good rest of the late show. Yo, quick question. I forgot to ask. How old are you? Oh, I'm 10. 10? Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. We've got crazy flippers here at Blade Show. Do you want to show us some moves that you got? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I need to do this with my spit. Yeah, go for it. That's awesome. Thanks, man. There are some crazy flippers here at Blade Show. 10 years old and flipping like that? Are you kidding me? Yo, do you want to be in a video? Yep. All right. How is it going? How are you enjoying your Blade Show today? Pretty cool. Met a bunch of people. Uh, got a bunch of knives like the Tsunami, this uh, Bowie Kraken, and uh, uh, Alubi. Nice. Nice. Was there anything here today that either surprised you, either blew your expectations out of the water, or was like disappointing at all? I mean, I guess the knives that I thought, like, there were a bunch of knives that were, like, different from that I, like, thought they were. And, uh, I don't know, there's, like, much more people than the Blade Show West, so that kind of surprised yeah. me. And, uh, like, there's a bunch of people in the community, and they're all, like, really good people and cool to chill with. You flew out here, didn't you? Uh, where, yeah. Where'd you fly from? All the way from Peru, just... Nice for the comp and like just to meet new people in the community. Was it worth the trip out? Yeah, for sure. It was pretty nice. Well, I'm really glad you enjoyed it. We're having a great time here too. So uh, yeah, uh, glad you came out. We're glad to see you here. Uh, you got to shout out your Instagram real quick? Yeah, it's uh, the Valley Flips with three C's. Nice. Everyone give them a follow. Uh, we're having a great time here at Blade Show. Uh, so yeah, enjoy the rest of your Blade Show, man. You too, man. Yep. Thanks. Peace out. So here we have the Megalodon. Now this is a, uh, a very cool piece from Squid. Giant metal um, thing. Yeah, it's like three pounds. It runs on bushings. It is made out of standard Balasong materials, 6061 aluminum, um, 440C stainless steel blade. This has a good blade steel. That's actually insane. And if you can see right here, Ty, if you want to come in, we have the pivot system. This thing runs on bushings, which I think I mentioned, but that that's insane. This thing's really cool, and it flips. Obviously, I don't want to ruin it or do anything, but that is an awesome piece from Squid here. And just this whole flipping area in general, Squid had to pay a lot of money to set this up to provide a space for flippers that's bigger than some people's boots. So uh, shout out Squid on that one, that's awesome. Oh, hey, look, it's Ty. Yo, Hello. Ty, what Hello. up? Hello, my friend, I have never heard of you before. Who are you? I have never heard of you either. Uh, what, is your, what is your name? 
Uh, my name is Camaro EE. -E. I see. Okay, cool. What are you flipping? I just stole your identity. So I am currently flipping the Hydro because uh, this thing caught me completely off guard. Uh, it, going into Blade Show, I had literally no idea anything about it. I thought it was going to be heavy. I thought it was going to be clunky. And then I picked it up and I was like, wow, this is not what I thought it would be. I have had the same exact experience because that is, I said I wasn't interested in the Hydro or whatever, but that really surprised me and I actually really, really like it. This is probably my favorite thing at Squid's booth today uh, because it kind of feels like a Nami, but a little bit more squared off. And my collection is leaning towards a lot more squared off. I feel like that's kind of just how I like my handles. Um, so the, the Hydro really surprised me and it's really kind of put itself on my, my map. Yeah. These things, these things are going to be significantly cheaper than the Tsunamis are. They flip pretty similarly. Uh, they're both really, really nice, fast flippers. Um, these things are absolutely insane. We also have the uh, we also have the Mad Coast, which I think are really, really cool. Um, some people know I am a I have an unreasonable love for the Makos. You do? Because sharks are cool. I like sharks. Uh, the Mad Coast is super sick, design and sound wise. This thing sounds incredible. Um, flipping wise, uh, it's a little bit heavier than I expected it to be. Yeah, I felt that as well. Overall, I still actually really like it um, and definitely wouldn't mind picking these up. Hopefully the price won't be too bad, uh, but these things are really sick. Um, and I think last out of Squid's major big boy news is the swordfish. I now, the swordfish has worried me for a while and I'm yes. sure you felt the same. How do you like it? The swordfish, it's weird because it's all aluminum. Tip to bottom of the handles, all just straight aluminum. Balance I was really concerned about. I don't know how they balance this, but it actually works. Uh, I don't know how the weight of the blade equals out to about the weight of the handles. Makes no sense to me, but uh, it works really well. It actually flips pretty good. Um, pricing, I think, is going to be pretty good on it. It should be... What was it, like around or under 200? I think Something 200. like that. Yeah, somewhere around 200. And uh, it's actually really nice. Uh, I really like it. There's a few more things at Blade Show that I maybe like a little bit more than some of the squid stuff. But overall, I think the things I was most surprised about was the Hydro. That thing. Same. Hydro was amazing. The Madco, I think, was a bit too heavy for my taste, but very cool. Swordfish also surprised me. If you had to rank them, first favorite to least favorite, between these three, what would you say? Probably in the order I brought them up. Uh, definitely the Hydro is number one. The Hydro is so sick. Um, not including the Nami. The Nami is its own thing, but it's also a lot more expensive. That's also for sale, so it doesn't really count, I yeah. feel like. Prototype-wise, the, uh, the Hydro is definitely the coolest, in my opinion. I honestly like the Mako more than I like, or the Madco more than I like the Swordfish, just because something about the Swordfish, it just doesn't have a place in my collection. Uh, for other people, absolutely. For me, it doesn't have that much of a place in my collection. Really cool, though. Um, but the, the Madco is something I would definitely enjoy, something I think is a, a really unique piece. Um, and I'm super excited for those to hit the market. So, so your order is Hydro, Madco, Swordfish. Yes. I would and, say Hydro, Swordfish, Madco for yeah. me personally. But and, and I will say all three of these are incredibly interesting. Yes. Uh, yeah, they're all really, really sick. I like them all a lot. Um, and I think especially the Hydro is one of my favorite things at Blade Show. It caught me completely off guard and I'm in love with it. I can agree with that. All right, Ty. Social media, shout out, go for it. Uh, Telestro Flips on YouTube, at Telestro. You can see my at on my shirt here. Uh, thanks to Ted. Oh yes, our shirts. Yes, thank you Ted for making the shirts. We did wear them to Blade Show like we said we would. Uh, they're pretty sick. Uh, shout out to everyone who's noticed us or uh, come and say hi so far. It's been a ton of fun. I've loved talking to all of you guys. Um, and yeah, we'll be around. And uh, tune into the live streams. We have plenty to discuss. Yes. We got a lot to talk about. And who am I kidding? You're going to be linked in the description anyway. Thank you, Ty. I will see you around. Of course. Quick question. What the hell is that? Okay, so this was a custom lucha. The original tip, it got tipped about half an inch. 
Um, so at that point, I decided I wanted to try to make this as bad as possible. And I had actually had an extra pair of handles from my other Lucha that I decided to put on here um, and put the latches on rearranged. And then this is actually a custom regrind I did. Or I didn't do the regrinding, but I did the designing of it. And then I sent it to a friend to do it. And then um, I put a really, really bad heat anno on it. And then while it was still hot, I cut cardboard to get those like black stripes. Um, yeah, it's not good, but it's it's a story. I mean, it's a conversation piece, definitely. Yeah, I mean, and honestly, with Blade Show, there's a lot of things that are maybe not that extreme, but there's a lot of things that are I just really, worse in my pocket. really, really interesting. What would that be? Uh, I what got is... this little thing from uh, Artisan Cutler. Here. Oh, <laughs> that. Yeah. Um, currently, I actually have it in a way that I can't even open it like right now. The uh, latch is actually under, if you look at that, the latch is actually like under that bar right there. So you actually have to deploy the switchblade part of it first, and then you can open it. And then it's also binding. <laughs> but but we're ignoring the, uh, the monstrosities you just showed us, how has Blade Show been so far for you? It's honestly been great. It's been great to be here and talking to people. Um, I honestly, I didn't really come here to buy much. I came here more for the experience, and I definitely, I, I mean, even so far, if I if I had to go home right now, I wouldn't be disappointed with the experience I've gotten so far. I definitely think it's, it's been a good experience. Yeah. yeah, I definitely have had more fun here today than I've had in a long time. It's been yeah. just trying things, meeting people. There's exactly. been so many things that, like, I not necessarily plan to buy, but I just wanted to try them. Like exactly, a lot of, yeah. exactly. A like, lot of um, stuff. And that, that's the thing, like a place like this, you're not gonna find another place like this. Okay. You know, in, in like everyday life, you talk about knives with people, they look at you like you're insane, especially when you name the prices of some of the stuff here. But all the people here understand, you yeah. know, which it, it, it's, it's a really nice feeling. Yeah, around here, it's not, when you say you paid, when you say you paid 750 for a NAMI, it's not like, holy shit, why would you do that? It's like, holy it's shit, holy how shit. did you get it that Nice, cheap? yeah. You know, dude, you got in for the pre-order, or not the pre-orders, but the early bird. I actually bought early bird, because when I bought the passes, I was planning on getting stuff, but that ended up not happening. Um, but, yeah, um, definitely yeah. been one of the most fun things I've done in my life so far. Yeah. It's definitely been great. Is this your first Blade Show? This is, in fact, my first Blade Show, nice. yes. Nice. That's cool. All right, well, we're going to swing on to some other booths. Do you have Instagram or YouTube you want to shout out? Uh, I do. My Instagram is at notfromkellybuick, underscore is in between each word, and I don't really have any other social media. But. Fair. All right, well. All right. All right. It was nice talking to you. Yeah, thanks mm -hmm. for stopping by. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Blade Show. Thank you. What's up, man? How are you doing? I'm doing great, and you? I'm doing pretty good. Is this your first Blade Show? Yes, it is. Yeah. It is. It, How are you liking it? It's... It's surreal, you know, getting to meet all the people that I've been talking to for like six years plus. Yeah. Now finally in person, having dinner with makers that I never thought I'd have dinner with. Like, it's just a whole surreal experience. It's awesome. Yeah, meeting all the people that you've only known through screens or oh, yeah. through videos is so surreal. Putting names to like Instagram tags, it's, it's that's the weird thing, right? Yeah. You have to introduce yourself as your Instagram tag. Yeah, so. it's definitely strange. You yeah. competed in Valley Comp. Yes, what was that experience like? Uh, for everyone, I'm pretty sure it was pretty nerve-wracking. Uh, first round went through, I did pretty well, I solid, and then second round, I versus Ollie. That was a really, really close one. He won, you know, no big, no big feelings, you know, no hard feelings at all, but, you know, like, we're like, we're, we've been homies since day one. So it was a, You put on a great show. It was I'm awesome afraid. to watch. I've Thank heard you. a lot of people say it was one of the best ballet comps ever. Yeah, we had an entire new like roster. There wasn't like Jaw for Sagey because they're you know they're not here. Scoom is not here, so it's like yeah. an entire new I guess lineup of different flippers, and it was a lot a lot to see. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Have you uh, purchased anything here? I personally haven't gotten it. I got her a Squiddy uh, U actually. Oh, nice. Yeah, so she was like fiddling with my Monarch all day, and I figured maybe it's time to get her get her something. So right now I'm just wandering around seeing if there's anything that like I really want to oh, make yeah. it worth the time, but. I got my solo, so I'm, I'm, nice. I'm happy about that, yeah. Yeah, cool. Well, uh, do you have an Instagram or anything you want to shout out? Yeah, if you want to follow me, it's peruano.v2 on Instagram. Um, I just you know, try to keep it good vibes, fun edits. Yeah, awesome. Thank you for, the, uh, for, sure. for talking to me. Yeah. Enjoy Blade Show. Yeah, you guys too. See ya. How's it going? How has is, how is the chaos been dealing with both? Your own stuff, and then machine-wise, and also Cerrone, I'm sure it's been a lot to manage. 
oh my god it's been a madhouse but it's been fun as heck and but a lot of knife sales i mean machine wise today sold out in the first 45 minutes the line was really long and we wish we had more of them but and Cerrone, I've sold everything but three knives. So, yeah. Yeah, so I got to try a lot of this today. Of course, I got my Prisma. Easily one of the best knives I have ever flipped. Uh, the Seraph as well is just absolutely phenomenal. How do you feel about the Machine-Wise stuff? About what? About Machine-Wise's knives. How do you feel about them? Machine-Wise. I, I work with him because I, I love his stuff. His work is great. I have a Slifty Marin, with, and there's only two of those with the... Uh, Channel full channel handles, so that's a really rare one. I have it is. I have the Marin, time at, uh, titanium Marin. Then I have a Sarah for myself as well. So obviously I like his stuff. So selling for him and working together is awesome. He's a really nice guy. So super cool. And then the Cerrone stuff, I like a lot more than I thought I would. I, they really caught me off guard. They're absolutely gorgeous. I will say that they did. Uh, is it just like one guy? It is one guy, David Cerrone, yeah. He used to work for Fior for about 10 years, then split off and did his own thing starting in 2020. And then I hooked up with him, did got some of his knives in, and now I distribute for him in the U.S. through Shop Soet. And so I'm here selling his stuff and representing him because he's in Italy. Um, but yeah, he's being super innovative with his things. You know, I don't know if you've seen this, but it... it will mark on you like ink so if you do uh, let me look for the right one it works the same way as this knife here so if the blade touches you it'll mark you like that so the same thing on this one when you have the felt insert so this comes with the felt insert or this is the carbon fiber or it comes with a live blade when you have the felt insert and you touch you it'll leave a mark like that right now I have the carbon fiber in there but that's the same way that the whole concept works. So you can run this in three different ways. Yeah, yeah that's that's pinless something design. nice. Yeah, awesome. pinless titanium. That's something we haven't seen before. Yeah. In a battle song, that's absolutely brand new. Yeah, completely um. different, innovative. Um, and then his more high-end stuff, like these ones are the Scorpions, 2,500, 2,300. They got you know, fat carbon inlays, carbon fiber inlays. Super amazing work. Yeah, these things are absolutely beautiful. Um, and I really love that you guys are, uh, with Shop Sew It, kind of taking more of the distributor route. You're bringing things to us that I would have never seen one of these. Right. But since you're bringing it kind of into our eyes, into like the modern flippers just prowess, I guess, uh, well, it's, it's really, really nice. It's really about a passion. I'm doing this because I love it. You know, I'm, I flip myself, I collect a lot. People in the community know that about me. So for me to do this, it's an honor to work with these people and to work together um, and to get them to people, you know, my friends of mine, you know, it's like, you know, how can I be a, being a part of the community like we all are, like what you're doing here? It's a super cool to be a part of it and fun. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for talking to me for a bit. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll see you around. It's been fun hanging around the booth today. Yeah. Uh, damn right I got damn knives. Damn right I got knives shirts over here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Instagram, I'm sure a lot of people know, but if you have anything else you want to shout out, Instagram, YouTube, all that. Let's see. Well, I'll be doing more interviews coming up. You know, I do the weekly interviews, so I got some really cool stuff lined up, and I'll be announcing that coming up real soon. I mean, shout out to all the everybody who made it here. This has been awesome. And a big shout out to Chase for winning the Bali comp. Yes. I mean, I think we all know how deserved he is in that because he, he puts the time in and is dedicated to this hobby. And it's just awesome to see somebody like that win. And, you know, anybody who would have won would have been great, but Chase is a great one to see win for sure. We're going to try to track him down, see if He's we can right get him. You. Oh, he is. Wait, where is he? Oh, he is right behind me. All right, well, I guess we'll go interview him. Uh, thanks for talking to me for a bit. We'll see you around. Yep. Yo, do you mind if we get you in a little video real quick? Yeah. Congrats on the win. Thank I saw you. your bandage. Did you get a little fucked up beforehand oh yeah definitely right before the comp right Literally, before the comp right before was the it comp. practicing or just trying some shit uh, a group of three people came up to me and uh, they asked me to do a triple scissor and uh, I failed at it and then I tried it again and I basically landed it and then they asked me to do a uh, a power aerial scissor and whenever I did it what happened was is instead of catching both of the handles I literally just threw it up in the air as fast as I could to catch it into a scissor and then the blade just came down and 
chopped literally into me. I need stitches. Like, Damn. it's pretty bad. Yeah. Alright, so those of you who don't know, known lyrics, what is your actual name? I forgot it. My bad. My, full, my whole full name is Leighton Chase Gravely. That's the whole name. Uh, so, congrats on the big win. You were fucking killing it up there. It was, it was ridiculous. I'm sure there was a lot of stress on your end, the sake of just... The amount of shit people were doing, and also the guy, I don't know his name, the guy who had the fucking mega song, just mm -hmm. yeah, fucking Yeah, with the mega song. Yeah, he was piping that shit up, man. Yeah. It was so nice. Uh, yeah, I was really nervous uh, going into it because when I just got here, I had 50, I had 10 to 15 minutes to hurry up and sign or somebody was going to get my spot, and I just cut myself. So I was leaking everywhere. I had to hurry. I had to basically run through everywhere, get bandages, clean this up just a little bit to where I can hurry up and go and do the sign-ups. Yeah. Went all the way in there or whatever because for some reason somebody told me that it was in there and it wasn't uh, the sign-in. And uh, I ended up making it with literally it was that time whenever they stopped it and then they were like there he is there he is let's go it was super nerve-wracking though um because i was adrenalized you know with the cut and yeah. uh, it was also hot and i'd literally just been running back and forth literally so it was like that was all just fresh you know right off the spot yeah we could tell a lot of people were pretty nervous a lot of people some people were messing stuff up that like we've seen them do all Millions the time around the times, convention yeah. Yeah, but uh, you seem to be handling it pretty well just while you were up on stage. You seem to have everything kind of under control, so good I job on that. I really tried to um, kind of get into my own zone, focus on the ballad song and not the crowd. Um, I really wanted to kind of vibe with the ballad song instead of like uh, do a lot of the stuff that I would normally do on some of my uh, videos. And I really, really tried to think out of the box and not be as repetitive as possible, so... I really hope you guys enjoyed the show we all put on for you. Yeah, it was great. What were you flipping? I didn't catch it. I was flipping a Mithril Kraken. Mithril Kraken? Yes. Okay, all right, fair choice. Uh, that's also what I cut myself with. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha. Well, yeah, congrats. You absolutely killed it out there. Uh, it was super sick, fun to watch. This is our first Blade show, so our first time watching oh, Valley so Comp. Sweet. And it was, uh, from everyone I've talked to, is one of the best ones that have gone yeah, on so far. Yeah, this was awesome this year. They yeah. had the stadium. Last year they didn't have the stadium. They, they also had the timer in front of you. Oh, and. It just made it a hell of a lot easier, and uh, it was just the whole vibe, man. That's all I got to say, really. A lot of really people who I walked up that I've never heard of before, and they just fucking crushed it. Yes. So a lot of new faces that were just like, damn. They killed it. They killed yeah, it. Absolutely. Like, there was, we, had a lot of good, we had a lot of good flippers in this comp, and I think that's why everyone really thinks that this one was one of the best ones in a while. And, uh, you know, with all the extra bonuses that Blade HQ added to uh, the comp, made it so much superior. I swear it did. All right, well, you heard it from the man himself. Thank you for taking a second to talk to me. Yeah, I don't want to biff you right on your cup. Oh, you're but, good, man. Thank uh, you. But, yeah, congrats. It was Thank sick. You good job. Here we have the Adam Heibel knives, and these things are just incredible. Some of the most beautiful laser-etched blades, anos, color combos that I've seen at Blade Show. I would almost call these more works of art than like crazy, crazy Balasong flippers, but they are freaking awesome. The trainers are really cool, these titanium blades up here, the blades themselves with the etching on it, super sick. Ty, which one's your favorite? Uh, my favorite's probably this guy right here. The, just the, the rainbow kind of like sunset fade. Oh my goodness, that thing gets me. Gets yeah, me. mine is this like cloudy gray, whatever you want to call that right there, with, like the zebra blade. Um, these are, again, Adam Heibel knives. I believe it's at Heibel knives on Instagram. Super, super sick stuff. Super sick. Oh, what up, guy? Hello. That was Blade Show. Uh, that was what we covered of Blade Show. That was I guess. pretty awesome. It was uh, a sick few days. I am uh, not like tired because we didn't do like a shit ton of work, but I am definitely like kind of fried. Yeah, I could definitely use uh, a, good, a lot of, of dopamine hits sleep. to the brain. Yes, a lot of stuff happened. It was all very good. Uh, belly comp was super sick. Trying all the knives was sick. Just meeting and talking to people was really cool. Yeah. Uh, definitely a good time, so. Yeah, so uh, that was the late show. That's what we did. If you saw us and you came up to us and you talked to us, thank you. Oh, whoops. That was the, it was pretty cool to meet everyone. So thanks everyone for coming up and saying hi. And uh, yeah, anything else? No. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, tune in to live streams. We'll answer them. Yep. So. Stay tuned for some other fun stuff on both of our channels. And yeah.
Thanks everyone for coming up. Nice meeting everyone. And we'll see you all in the next one. Peace. What's up, Will?